this fragrance right here is from the house of Frederick Mall, and it is part of the Desert Gems collection. And I believe there are four fragrances in the Desert Gems collection. Um, this one, which is the moon, you have uh, Promise, which I also have, uh, The Night, and Dawn. So those are the, the four fragrances in the Desert Gems uh, collection. And they are, so far, the ones that I've tried are all pretty interesting fragrances, very unique fragrances, and fragrances that you, um, that for a person that is an enthusiast of, of fragrances, you will definitely not be disappointed in these uh, fragrances. This one right here to me is um, one of the better ones in the Desert Gems uh, series for sure, the moon. Um, it opens up with a very fruity uh, blast of, of different fruits, but there is also an oudy undertone to it. And what I mean by oud, it, it's uh, pretty much agarwood or um, oud uh, from uh, Thailand or something like that. One of those interesting ouds. Um, it, it's very uh, sharp and, and uh, very sharp in the in the opening and very much detectable. When people talk about that fecal oud. You do get that type of fecal oud in the in the beginning of this fragrance. So the oud is uh, pretty much present in this one. It's not like one of those oud fragrances that that have been kind of super sugared up, uh, which which I smell very often. There are like sugary ouds, and I, I don't know how perfumers accomplish those blends. I'm not a perfumer, but basically what you get is a very airy, um, not very dense oud. This one is not the case. Like I said, this is a very sugary fragrance in the fact that it has a lot of fruits in it, but the oud is a contrast to those um, prominent fruits. And the fruity notes that you get in this fragrance, is, in this fragrance are kind of like those um, berries, like those red berries. So it, it is a very red type fragrance. Very interesting though. And then the the other part that is also kind of interesting about this fragrance is that it has a bit of smoke to it, but it's kind of like a cool smoke. So think about, I know maybe some people don't smoke, but they have these things called vape, vapor smoke, or the, uh, the uh, shisha uh, smoke. It kind of gives that cooling smoke feeling to, to, to this fragrance, which is kind of interesting. But that is not in the beginning. The beginning, there is a very sharp contrast between the fruits, the, the berries, and um, the, the oud. As this kind of settles, it settles into a more um, softer fragrance, so it's not as, as pungent as in the opening. And then um, you, it, it's going to last you for a very, very long time. So in regards to, to the actual notes, at the, at the opening or at the top, you have raspberry, saffron, and lychee. And the lychee is a very interesting note, which is uh, kind of prominent throughout the, the composition. In the heart, you have olibanum, rose, red berries, and red currant, and violet. So again... Um, all those uh, notes are very much important in the ensemble. And I think the violet kind of provides a, a bit of a powdery vibe as the, the fragrance matures. And then at the base, you have oud, leather, patchouli, sandalwood, and amber. So those are the notes. Uh, again, the, the base to me, um, out, of, out of the notes listed in the base, the oud and leather are very much um, what I... That, that are immediately detectable, but the other notes are just as important in this composition because they are um, detectable and they do kind of um, round off this fragrance. It, it starts off kind of sharp, like I said, it, 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 it has um, very sharp edges, but as it develops, it becomes more rounded out, out and it almost becomes fuzzy in a way. What I mean by that is 
um, it has this soft, warm feeling to it that um, kind of keeps you comfortable. This is the, the type of fragrance that I could easily wear casually as well. So there's nothing that um, that screams to me formal with this fragrance. It's just one of those fragrances that you could pretty much wear um, casually or uh, formally. There's no um, difference in, in that sense. And I also believe that the fragrance is probably best suited like for a rainy day. So I wore this on a rainy day and it really cheered me up. Um, I don't know how well it would do in, in hot and really hot weather, but I, I see this fragrance as being a fragrance that you could definitely wear in, in the hotter months as well. So overall, I'm very happy with, with um, my wearing for, for the moon. I currently have um, a sample, which is a really nice sample um, of it. Let me show you. So that is the sample. So it's a pretty decent sized sample. And I'm ha I'm very happy with the sample. I'm not sure if I'm gonna uh, purchase the, the full um, bottle yet, just because um, I think that this is kind of good enough for me for now. That That is um, the perfumer behind this one. Uh, I was almost gonna end the, the uh, video. Is Julian Raskinet. Raskinet, and he is also the perfumer behind another fragrance, which I'm very much interested in. It's called Tobacco Rose by BDK. So for those that don't know about BDK as a house, they've been um, pumping out an incredible amount of uh, fragrances, and the fragrances that they do pump out are very, very interesting. They have a lot of niche qualities to them, but they're not... Um, they're not challenging at all, in my in my opinion, that the BDK fragrances, they're just very well executed uh, fragrances. And Julian, he has uh, the, the Tobacco Rose, which is one of the more regarded fragrances in that BDK line and something that you may want to try out um, if you get a chance. So I'm kind of interested more to find out what other fragrances Julian has uh, perfumed that I may be interested in. Um, this one is definitely a great fragrance, but to me, it's kind of, it's not really that uh, formal. It's not really like one of those fragrances because this is a very, very expensive fragrance. So it's not a fragrance that I can see myself uh, paying full retail for, uh, for this fragrances. Well, there are other fragrances in the Desert Gems collection that I made, that I, that I purchased. I have the promise and I may, um, try out the night. This one is a great fragrance, but it's, to me, it has a bit of a casual vibe to it, if that makes sense. That is pretty much it. Um, that's the, the review. Um, I don't know what else to say. These are just my initial thoughts um, on, on the fragrance. I had a chance to kind of try it out and um, I really dig it. I like the fragrance. I'll talk to you soon. I'm out later.